Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, captain of the Steve's today, chums, for you guys in the viewer first. I'm going to be building some fauna feeding farms to hopefully get these memory fragments to be handed into Polo, and I'm hoping to do it automatically. You can see here I've got loads of savage data. Did I get it legit or did I get it by duplicating? Hmm, I wonder what I did there, people. Right, anyhow, let's on, head on over to the construction research terminal and we'll start unlocking things. I've got myself a neutron processor, which I'm going to need to make the actual creature pellets. Brilliant, so that was a hundred, a hundred of those little freaking things. And uh, yeah, it's, these are a lot more expensive now in this version, people. So I had to get the wall planter to get the standing planter. So that was a couple more. I've only got 10 left, so I can't really buy what I want to buy. But what I really wanted was the auto feeder. And that's like another 100. So yes, I've got my... I also need to get the wires. I need to get these um, solar panels. But for now, I've got a biofuel reactor that I don't really need. And I also need the battery. So I need to go get a load more salvage data. So I am using the ExoCraft duplication method, but I did have to get quite a fair few stacks of it before I could do the duplication. So there is a lot of digging involved, whichever way you want to do this. But you can see here there is a considerable markup on each and every piece of technology when it comes to your salvage data. So do as you wish, do whatever you find is most fun. But yes, I use the duplication technique. I'll put the link in the top right hand corner. Heck yes. Right, anyway, I've now pretty much bought everything I want to buy. The only thing I haven't bought is the automatic harvester. So here we go, I've just picked up the automatic feeder, but I haven't got the harvester. And um, I don't know whether the harvester is going to work. I don't know whether it's going to harvest the actual products. I could get an electromagnetic field generator, but I don't think there is an electromagnetic hotspot nearby. Anyway, let's put all these things in. You can see here it needs an amino chamber. Well, I don't got an amino chamber, so I'm just going to press triangle to go into wire mode and then press the place and the wire mode at the same time. So that's R2 and triangle on the PlayStation, and it lets you glitch it in for free. Brilliant. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, just go into wire mode, make sure the wire is showing green, and it's just triangle now too at the same time. The timing is a little bit tricky, but hopefully you'll be able to pull it off. And I've just put down some solar panels, linked them to a battery, and they're all linked to the actual feeders. So there we go. We've got ourselves a nice little circuit. I'm putting down some, um, you know, a, a carbon plant a wall there so I can get my carbon to make my bait sticks. Putting in my, my uh, nutrient processor so I can process carbon into bait sticks because it's a one-to-one -one ratio here, people. So here we go. Let's grab the actual carbon, go to the nutrient processor, and I'll show you what I mean. Normally it costs 60 carbon to make a single stick. I put in 72. I'm going to get 72 back. Yeah, brilliant. It says that it does a, a cycle of 50. It doesn't. It only does 25 at a time. It's lying to you people. That's been bugged out for freaking years. Hello, games. Fix your shizzle. Right. Now, because there's no sunlight, I can't actually put my bait sticks inside of the harvesters. But let's just do a little rogue test. Let's just throw a bait stick out. We'll keep the creatures here anyway until daytime. Hopefully there'll be more fauna frequenting the area in daylight. Again, let's go over to one. Let's just make sure we can get some memories. There we go. Harvest ancestral memories. Lovely jubbly. Excellent. Well, lovely job. I'm wondering whether if I do put down auto harvesters, whether I'd get the milk or the berries or whatever the byproduct is for cooking, as well as the ancestral memories. We'll test that later in the video. So, yeah, let me test that. So, yeah, hopefully I might be able to save you some salvage data. If it doesn't work, then you would know from watching this video. Brilliant. Awesome. Well, that works. I can actually feed them by hand. Let's see if the actual auto feeders have the same result. But we'll wait until daytime. Are these bait sticks nearly ready? No. Still got a bit more baking time on those little kiddies. Right. Well, I'll reconvene. Reconvene in time. Let's uh, head on over. Are my bait sticks ready? Done. Diddly done. Yeah. Bum. Br there you go. 25 again. I have to set that going off again. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's go and put these into stacks. I'll say 12 into each of these. So here we are. Oh, I interacted with the wire somehow. Okay, here we are. Let's put that into there. Half that by pressing square. Put it in. There's 12 in that one. Leg it over to here. Let's go put 12 into this one. Now, I haven't long harvested those creatures. Hopefully they're ready to be harvested again. We'll about check in a moment, people. And uh, let's head on over to this one over here. They look like mini Daleks, don't they, these things? Very odd looking things. Right, let's interact with that then. And chuck them into there. Chicka pow! Lovely. And over to this last one. 
and hopefully we're going to see these do all the throwing of pellets for me so that's a couple of button presses saved isn't it right now and they seem to be able to feed the creatures with one pellet and it, 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 it's got a, right, a, a bigger disbursement area. No, look, I've got 31 seconds before I can harvest that creature. I've got 34 seconds before I can harvest this one. So it looks like I've already harvested all of these. Fun times. This one's got 19 seconds remaining. Okay, people, well, I might just have to wait a bit. This one's got 27 seconds. Fudge and hack. Okay, right. Um, and it doesn't look like any new creatures have come in in daytime, does it, people? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to be waiting a little while for my resources. I know, I know. But yeah, we get there. We get there, people. Yes, I want some freaking ancestral memories. Right, well, let's go and let's just go and interact with one of these creatures. Let's see if the four seconds, three, two, and one and zero. Come on. And there we go. Harvest memories. Lovely. So they are working. They are working. Lovely. Coolio. And we're doing pretty darn freaking sweet now. Look at all these ancestral memories I'm just ripping out of these little faunas. Lovely, thank you for your memories. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I guess the next step of this test is do the auto-harvesters harvest the ancestral memories? Or do the auto-harvesters simply collect all of the cooking ingredients? And if it does harvest the cooking ingredients, can I then just run around manually and uh, grab all the ancestral memories? We'll find out, people. So here I am back at the Nexus, and I'm hopefully going to be picking up the auto feeder if I can find what bloody page it's on. Where are you? Ah, oh, fudge your neck. Uh, over this way. There it is. Lovely jubbly. We'll have that. Thank you very much. 100 freaking salvage datas. Okay, well, back down to the planet. Let's get, put this into action then. Right, so I'm just going to glitch these in as well, because, yeah, they, they, they've got quite a lot of components I don't got, like polyfiber. I'm just going to put down four for now. We're going to connect them all together. Now, I've noticed this quite a lot at the moment, people. I go to, yeah, I go in my build menu. Now, I exit the build menu. You can see it's in, like, daytime. I exit the build menu, and it automatically flicks over to night. And I have that happen quite a lot between day and night. There's no sort of slow progression. It just sort of blink and it's daytime, blink and it's nighttime. It's very sort of janky at the moment. I don't know what's going on there, people. Anyway, let's put all these feeders in, in the well, these carbon sticks. Let's see what we've got inside this feeder. We've got nothing in there right now. Well, that's probably because all my bait sticks magically disappeared when I went back to the Nexus and came back down again. So it looks like these uh, auto harvesters, you're going to have to stay by them and sort of mother them a little bit. Or else, yeah, all your bait sticks freaking disappear. Fun times, but at least we've got that carbon rack and we can just make some more whenever we wish or wherever we need. Let's head on over here then. Let's put some into this one. And hopefully we're going to be seeing these in action. Now, obviously, I need to go and sit in my ship for a bit and pass some time. And then we'll go check the auto feeders, shall we? And the harvesters. Right, OK, so let's go and have a look. No, we've got loads of milk and loads of berries in that one. No memories whatsoever. And in this one, we've got fudge all in that one. Brilliant. Oh, I just saw that one collect. Let's go and have a look, see if that's got some ancestral memories. No ancestral memories. So you go, people. The livestock harvester units, they don't do anything. So I'm just going to delete them all. I'm going to delete them all. And it's just a case of you've got the auto feeders to automatically feed the creatures. But you don't even need those, really. You could just get the carbon planter and also the nutrient processor to make your bait sticks at a lower cost, and away you go. So that's what I would suggest, rather than go to this sort of complexity. But you know what? I might as well leave my auto feeders in, so at least it's doing something for me, and I can just run around and do this, and just, yeah, lovely. I'm taking your memories with me. Awesome. And there we go. We can, yeah, just harvest these. I've got four seconds left on this little guy. Well, yeah, come on. Pow, taking your memories. Done. Yeah, so that's pretty much that, people. I would say perhaps just get yourself the carbon planter, the nutrient processor, and just feed them by hand. Because then at least you can sort of go across the planet doing it. And of course, the actual nutrient processor is movable tech, so you can take that with you. And a lot of planets have carbon on. You don't even need the carbon planter, really. Just get the nutrient processor. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. 
And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.